I am pleased to join you today as we open the ASEAN Business and Investment Summit on lands the ASEAN members, mentors for entrepreneurship network. As an opportune time for government and business sectors, leaders across the region to come together, it is my hope that the ASEAN Mentors for Entrepreneurship Network would become a catalyst for inclusive prosperity that can be shared by all. Now, I would not bore you with so many words. Uh, it's the run of the middle speech of uh, greeting everybody and uh, well, practically saying nothing. <laughs> During the plenary sessions of uh, in uh, Vietnam the other day, when my turn came to talk about my, 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 my situations, and I said, this is a region's, uh, regional uh, concern, and everything you guys said today are all here in my speech also. So I won't bother, but I was listening, and I was very well educated this afternoon. That is all, because there was, uh, there's only one aim, actually. Uh, what we do today for our world and our generation. I am one of those uh, on the room for the estimated time of departure. And uh, maybe our term in this world has long expired, but we are still here. Uh, you know, you, 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 you are the ones who have the the warm and enthusiasm to, to do what you can do for your country and for the world. You have all the data, and you know what ails the world today. One, what is the trouble with the economy? Uh, suddenly, the digital age came to the fore, and almost uh, by surprise. Other nations went well, they were prepared, but most of the third world countries uh, were not in a position to catch up as much. And so today, we realize that uh, almost 80, 85% of the world are run by MS, 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 MS. In the SM, Ibayon. <laughs> uh, does the shopping mall? The micro, small, and medium, actually. And taking together, uh, it fuels the world economy. Except for the few things that really we spent the income of the world and the GDPs to build arms for destruction. Uh, everything or everybody else in the world was busy making a living. When globalization came, uh, uh, and suddenly uh, it, it placed everybody in a very awkward position. Actually, the first country to be hit by the consequences of uh, the growing globalization, the world village, was America. And its economy was the first to suffer when they went to all to China. Then shopping opened the doors uh, for cheap labor and uh, everything else, including the minimal taxations. And today, China is, is, the, is the number one economic powerhouse. And we have to be friends. There's a, the other hotheads would like us to confront China and the rest of the world for so many issues. The South China Sea is better left untouched. Nobody can afford to go to war. Either the big powers, Russia, China, Britain, or the United States. It can ill afford a violent confrontation. It does not have the luxury of the option of war and violence. 
and my last uh, bilateral last night and I had to wait for two hours because uh, President Xi Jinping was busy with the other countries talking. We had the last uh, appointment for him before I took off. And uh, we agreed, and he agrees. And he said, if you are President Duterte, and you want to preserve the lives of the Filipinos, then as President of China, I want to save lives. I do not waste the lives of my countrymen for a useless war that cannot be won by anybody. He made it clear to us that the only way to go is cooperation. And so I would say that uh, we should open our doors to everybody. Uh, ideological uh, conflicts are no longer in the vote. It's a passe. We do not go about running this world in accordance to our, whether it is a pretended principle in life, or just, uh, just want to go the aggressor. And so today, I'd like to announce to the region, especially to the Filipinos, that uh, we have had, it's going to be by the, by the years and, but we collected taxes. Uh, billions of taxes who were unpaid for many years. So I ask my, well, everybody's called or one? Yung aircon? Baka lang. Baka nagtitipid tayo dito. <laughs> Saving uh, for the electric bills. So, uh, it's a good year. Next year, I would like to make some late changes in the GA, the annual budget. I would like to pour more money on this medium, small, and micro industry. <laughs> So, you guys, the small businessmen, maybe a few billions here and there would uh, suffice. Well, talagang bubuhos ako ng capital because we found out in our meetings with AP that the basic, basic unit of the economy has always been moved by the MSMEs. So, as one who is really poor at economics, I've told you I'm a law graduate, I'm not an economist, and I remember failing the, the subject twice <laughs> I to take it in a summer uh, course. But uh, I have enough understanding of what is really practical for us all. Uh, but the bulk of the money would go to the livelihood uh, less spending on, we will replenish the, but not that much. We are not interested in wars, I'd like to appeal to the revolutionaries to just simmer down and we'll talk. We will rebuild Marawi. I said uh, we collected so much taxes. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I was informed by my revenue officials that uh, uh, there's, there's enough to start uh, to lay the foundation of the city again. But uh, for those who are not really, uh, I will, uh, so as not to repeat the, the, the kind of thing that we fought for about four months and at the expense of the lives of many people, Christians and Muslims alike. We get nothing. Nobody won that war. Not government. We're able to kill how many? Terrorists and even. It does not promote peace uh, in this world. We were just uh, acting on a police punitive act. So, but most of the money will go to the poor and the medium, uh, small and... Uh,
Siguro mag uh, 50, 50 billion each, okay na? How many 50 billion? Hindi, tatal na to to. I will uh, review the budget with uh, uh, Secretary Jok, no? And uh, maybe if I can add more, I'll ask Congress. May, may pera ho ako dyan, Andy Marawi. I prepared for this event because we realized uh, in the regional meetings that uh, the small guy down there contributes a lot to what is really happening before a rise and it's uh, improving the economy. Philippines is doing well. Uh, it has been consistently improving since the time of uh, President Ramos and we have maintained this 6.1. So hopefully uh, by 2030, uh, I can assure every Filipino, I never promised a paradise for us. I know how hard it is really to fix the economy. But uh, what I promised you, and I've been during the campaigns, is uh, I will just make the life of the Filipino comfortable. That is all that I have done for you. Thank you. Thank you very much, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Thank you very much to our ASEAN Black Chairman, Jose Maria Concepcion III, and the ASEAN Business Advisory Council Chairs. Through the ASEAN Mentorship for Entrepreneurs Network, we will sow years of business experience, unique expertise, and the homegrown insights so that our entrepreneurs can cultivate rich ideas into strong and strict. I've been put to task for uh, just calling the attention of the public, even the media. Uh, I've been trained to do it this way. <laughs> you don't know the name, and they say that uh, it's a wolf's. Uh, uh, it's one of the things that uh, I want. But I was, I want to meet um, everybody, especially the ladies. <laughs> These guards here are pushing them back. I, I've always told them consistently, if it's a beautiful young woman, do not bar her. Total, ang hiningi ko lang naman, biso-biso lang, nothing on the front. So if you want to have a picture of me, fine. But uh, never mind, the guards will push you back. I'll pull you in. And uh, we can have the pictures. Uh, and, uh, but my buyer, nothing comes really. <laughs>